James Gunn is having himself quite the year, with Peacemaker having a strong first season to being promoted to head of DC Films. He has done quite a lot in 2022. Now with Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, Gunn tells a fun yet emotional story that once again proves that special presentations are the way Marvel should do content on Disney+. The special opens up with a little cool animated scene, which I wasn't totally expecting, followed up by one of the best original Christmas songs I've heard in years. I mean, I'm glad Spotify Wrapped came out already because I, this might be on there. <laughs> then we follow Drax and Mantis as they try to cheer up Peter and get him the greatest Christmas gift ever known to man, the legendary Kevin Bacon, which I never thought I would see Kevin Bacon in an MCU project, yet here we are, and he's great in this film. It's really cool to see the Guardians in a not-so-life-or-death story, or the universe on the line, they have to save it type thing. But it's cool to see them in a different circumstance, in a, in a different type of story. It's a chance to see them in a new and different light, and to flesh out different relationships, like we see with Drax and Mantis easily one of the best parts of this special. Drax and Mantis steal the show. They have great moments and their time on Earth is just hilarious. From beating up a robot cosplayer, to breaking into Kevin Bacon's house, to stealing Christmas decorations and Drax thinking a candy cane is a man. Even their interactions with the police there were really funny. Uh, with Drax getting shot, this is one of my one of my favorite parts was Drax getting shot repeatedly and he just laughing it off like someone was tickling him. And then also Mantis, after completely owning these police officers, just goes up to them and goes, we're doing nothing wrong. Also, is this a man? <laughs> As she points to a candy cane. And it's just, their relationship makes the special. It's really, it's really cool to see. And the chemistry that both of these characters have are quite awesome. The special has really good music, as to be expected from a James Gunn film, but there was a lot more original stuff than I thought there would be. But I was shocked with how many original songs there were. I think there were only two, but that's still two more than I thought there were going to be. Past all the jokes and really good music, this short special also has a lot of heart to it. It's not just a 45 minute comedy um, with no real purpose. It it truly tells a good story that does have a lot of emotion. Mantis really wants to make Christmas special for Peter because we find out that she is his half-sister. She hasn't told Peter. She's ashamed and afraid to tell Peter because she doesn't want Peter to look at her and see their father. The guy who killed his mother. The guy that tried to take over the universe. Um, the guy that has done a lot of bad things she doesn't want peter to see their father in her but i love the moment where she reveals it to peter and peter's just like oh my gosh this is the greatest gift which could be seen as a little cliche but i thought it was executed very well and it was also littler smaller stories like the animated section with yondu the story of yondu ruining christmas and then we see peter showing that Yondu didn't actually ruin Christmas, and that he gave Peter his two blasters as a Christmas present. I thought that whole story was a really nice touch, and I always like seeing Yondu and Peter's relationship. Uh, even like towards the end when the Guardians are giving each other gifts, a lot of them are jokes and a lot of them are funny, but at the same time it, it conveys emotion, it, it's really sweet. But obviously Nebula's gift is my favorite. <laughs> I love the implication that she went all the way to Earth, potentially fought Bucky for his arm, won it, and then came all the way back to nowhere just to give Rocket Bucky's arm as a Christmas present. I don't know. That's both like just really funny to me and also just really sweet. I love that throughout this special, even though we don't see her a lot, we see her progressively get kinder and that her heart softens more and more. Like at the end, we see her dancing for the first time, I think. You know, it's little things like that that I think Gunn does very well. I liked seeing a little bit more of Cosmo, but Cosmo has dialogue, so we'll take that. I liked Cosmo and Rocket's relationship. The special is really short, but I don't think pacing's an issue. I do wish it was longer, but 
What I do think this special does is not only tell a good story, but really show that this is the direction Marvel should be going in terms of content on Disney+. Plus. Werewolf by Night and now Guardians Holiday Special are two of the best pieces of content put out on Disney+. Plus. I would say maybe ever, uh, at least in regards to the MCU. Now, I don't completely hate the shows Marvel's done. I really enjoyed Moon Knight. Of, of course, there were some flaws with it, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Loki. I enjoyed WandaVision. But there's often stories that I think would be better told in this format. I think introducing characters would be better in this format. Not every character needs a show. And I hope that what Marvel sees, but I hope with what they see with the Phase 4, definitely with Phase 4 ending with this special, is that special presentations are good and that they should be more focused on than TV shows. I hope they see that more content isn't always better, that quality always trumps quantity in terms of storytelling and just like take your time overall guardians of the galaxy holiday special is a great time it's a fast special that's full of heart and is full of good jokes and good music it's just another fun adventure that the guardians get to go on and with guardians of the galaxy volume 3 coming up and it probably being the end of this team it's just really sweet to get to see more of them, get to cherish this time we have for them before we probably have to say goodbye in volume three. But that's about it for me. Let me know what y'all thought of the holiday special down in the comment section below. But as always, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. And until the next time, peace out, bro skillets.